So you want to grow crops in Tears of the Kingdom, basically turning this game into a farming simulator, like we don't have enough of those on the Nintendo Switch. Well, I'm here to tell you how to grow crops in Tears of the Kingdom. Let's get right into it. So here in Hateno Village, you're gonna find this patch of crops right here, and you're gonna come across these two guys over here. Their names are Knack and Reed. And they need a bodyguard for the crops, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to defend the crops from these monsters. And I think the best way of going about this is pulling out a spear. So right now you're just going to want to make sure that you kill all of these uh, skeletons. And once you get done defeating all these enemies, the guy's going to talk to you once again. They'll be like, yay, we did it, look at the pumpkins, and guess what? They'll give you five pumpkins. And these pumpkins are sun pumpkins. They're actually better than the original. So once you grow the sun pumpkins, you can turn around and head to the shop in Hateno Village. Turn to the right, and you should see sun pumpkins. Now sun pumpkins are actually better than normal pumpkins and cost about the same price. Because if you cook a sun pumpkin, you'll not only get the effects of the fortified pumpkin, but you'll also be able to heal some gloom damage. So what if I want to do some farming? Like, what if I want to grow the crops on the ground? Well, I got you. So next, you're going to want to head up to the schoolhouse at around 12 p.m. You're going to go through the classroom right here, talk to Simon. He'll be in the middle of a class, and, you know, he'll talk to the kids about this lesson here. All right, so this first quest is called Teach Me a Lesson 1. For this, you're going to want to head over to Kakariko Village. Next, you're going to want to make your way over to Aya's Hall. Once you get upstairs, you're going to take a picture of this. Head back to Simon. Make sure you show him the picture during class. Class hours are after 9 a.m. I'm going to talk to him again. So for this recipe, you're going to want to put Goron Spice, Hylian Rice, and Monster Extract in a bowl. And that should make Monster Curry. Make sure to head back to the schoolhouse. Tell him you have the curry. That should complete the final quest. Head outside the schoolhouse. Make a right. You should see this old lady out here. And she should be able to grow different items for you. So for me, I'm going to give her a sun pumpkin. All right, there we go. Real quickly, I'm going to go over the list of vegetables that you can grow here. All right, so you can grow Endura carrots, fortified pumpkins, hardy radishes, Hydromelons, Hylian tomatoes, Tabantha wheat, and wild berries. Keep in mind, you can also grow sun pumpkins here. So if you want to grow a bit more of those than you can possibly buy at the item shop over there, feel free to put some sun pumpkins down and wait two in-game days for them to grow. At least that's what Austin John said, but his video was... 10 minutes long, so it took me about two days to get through that shit. This was Bloody Book, and if you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. We're on the road to 1,000 subs. I know we can make it. Peace.